Oh boy, the new Dead Space remake looks great. Can't wait to play it. Lord, destroy the child, corrupt them all. So how do we do this? Well, the first thing we need is the Dead Space mouse fix. Uh, you can see the link here, and I'll put the links in the description. Basically, just download this and then unzip the DLL in your Dead Space folder. Right-click on the desktop to go to NVIDIA Control Panel, then under Manage 3D Settings, go to Program Settings, and select the Dead Space EXE. Then scroll down at the bottom to find Vertical Sync put this to on. This should make you have like smooth 60 FPS. In my case I think it was even 75. Widescreen Fixer is a little program that will run in parallel and it allows you to change the field of view on your character. Note it has to be running in the background and by default you will only see changes when you press the multiplication key on your numpad didn't play with it much, I think it might make the game a bit easier since the Necromorphs will be having a harder time sneaking up behind you. It also makes the rig UI smaller to read, so this could be a problem if you're far away from the screen. Download Reshade and download Ultimate Vision for Dead Space from ModDB. This is the, the preset I used. And basically in Reshade just select everything and click next until it's done. Reshade was successfully installed, you will see some text on the upper screen, and when pressing home, you have the option of toggling various effects on and off. I used everything from the preset, plus I added the comic shader because I think it smooths out stuff a bit and makes it look kind of like a really gory comic book. Personally, I really like how it looks now, and I'll probably do another playthrough with this on. But the game is now much darker and has a more of a spooky vibe, even more than it had before. As you can see, the difference is quite noticeable playing side to side. If you want to play this on TV with a wireless controller, it is also possible. I use the PS4 controller with DS4 fix, I will link this in the description, it takes a bit of setting up but it works, and connected it via Bluetooth. 
I had one problem that the game was extremely laggy and choppy, the input was non-responsive. The fix for this was basically to not just duplicate the laptop screen, but to use it as an extended screen and then set this screen, the TV now, to be the primary screen. After that everything worked fine. Also if you have something like a 4K TV, it might be good to set the resolution to full HD and make sure that you set the, the refresh rate to 60 Hz. And that's it. Hope you learned something useful from my video. Like, share, subscribe, all the usual jazz, and have fun!